By the way, there's three true freshman wide receivers in the game for Bama as well. As Sagavaloa tries to dodge the rush, cannot escape. Se Dogs don't pressure. Sagavaloa has all night hit hard, spinning around, trying to escape and create, and now he's in the clear. The freshman shows some toughness, creating Bama in Georgia territory at the 44. First down throw, a slant, high, caught. Robert Bama throws right behind him. Screen, rugs, true freshman to true freshman, and he busts out quickly. Second and one, throwing again, slant, low, and it's rugs, the freshman going. Throwing again, end zone, touchdown! Henry Ruggs, A for a mistake. Fire much in meaningful games, as we said. Rolls, flips it high, into traffic, intercepted. DeAndre Baker. Bo Scarborough hasn't yet got going. Big fella turns the corner and bangs when Najee Harris is in the game. <laughs> and he makes a big play, and Harris. It's nothing but freshman running field. Been a frustrating night for Damian Harris, their leader, no relation. And Najee getting a turn. That time they fake it to him. Tungavaloa has lots of time and a big cushion for Cam Sims, who makes the catch. Still fighting, spinning, takes a big shot. Hasn't played any meaningful snaps all year, and it's kind of sparked this Alabama offense. And now Harris is the four tailback, bounces it. Najee Harris in the clear, a powerful run, still battling and slung out inside the 10 by Roquan Smith. By Jerry Judy, watch number four in the crack block. Boom, right there on Aaron Davis, set, got the edge. And as I said, Aaron, you see Najee Harris. Rugs very good at the field goal block when they got Oklahoma's. And come after that one, and half a nine, and now he's going to flip it to Harris in the flat. Makes a man miss, and Damian Harris, after a frustrating night, spins. Very productive with Tungabaloa in there. The lefty fires downfield. Judy goes up. Freshman to freshman again, and the tide set up inside the 15. Tungabaloa, plenty of time. Surveying the field, fires end zone. Touchdown! Calvin Ridley finally makes an impact. Dancing around, circling back, dropped a disastrous first down play. His youth right there. Think about Loa trying to make up for it. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Alabama wins! Quickly here in the fourth. Tungavaloa steps up, tries to get it to Smith, and it's broken up by Terrell, who began this night, or excuse me, Fields. He says, going to sleep. Going to sleep over yeah. there? By the way, he, he has stepped in admirably to come up and make some plays. That ball's caught until... Yeah. Well, I'm sure they're going to use this as motivation going into the offseason, and, and this is a team that will come back with a lot of key pieces. I'm going to tell you, there are going to be a lot of teams that are going to study Brent Venable's scheme and what they did in the offseason. Not everybody has the talent that Clemson has, but you can come up with some of the, the, the scheme. Brent Venables should get a game ball. We're talking about all these players. Dabo deserves it, but boy, that defense came prepared and outplayed Alabama for 60 minutes. There's a reason why Venables makes more than $2 million a year. And he's showing you that tonight. Delirium on the Clemson side as the challengers dethrone the champs. Stunt Bama players humbled tonight here in California. Case and that goes incomplete. Bama's had five possessions, five touchdowns. And looking for more in the final three minutes of this first half. Comes out throwing. On the run. Pressure from behind.
That's what Nick Saban is thinking. Where's Mac Jones? He's down. And Tua's down. His helmet came off. This is exactly what you did not want to see happen. And sometimes as a coach, you just got to listen to your gut. And I think Nick wanted to take him out. And Tua talked him back into it. And hopefully this isn't serious. Something. Todd, we're something showing up. it again here, the replay. There's two players sort of collapse upon him. Marquis Spencer and Leo Lewis. Just about the full weight of both of them on Tungo Bailoa there. The helmet comes off. You see instantly in pain. And the stadium, even on the road, has gone silent. He's up. And hopefully that's just a... a Tua might have been lobbying, and Nick Saban comes into the huddle here, and there's Tua. He goes over to Nick and says, hey, let me get one more. Just one more, Coach. What do you think? When it comes to football, you can't dictate or determine, you know, what's going to happen the next play. And Tua's down. His helmet came off. This is exactly what you did not want to see happen. You guys are blowing these guys out. It's 35-7. to 7. A lot of people are like, why is Tua why is he even yeah. in the game? Coach told us, you know, we want to get a two-minute drive started. It gives us an opportunity as a team, you know, to, to really just know down and distance. It's a decision that coach made, and we, as players, our thing is just to go out there and execute it. What do you remember about going down? The last thing I do remember is throwing the ball away, and that was it. I think I had a concussion at the time, and yeah, the, the rest was, was kind of a blur. At what point did you realize this is, this is pretty serious? I started getting a little uncomfortable, so I tried to move, you know, and that's when I could feel my hip, and I was like, oh, you know, I can't do that. You with us. Stephen A., I want to start with you on this one. Who has a higher ceiling? Is it Joe Burrow or is it Tua? Well, first of all, it's easily Tua assuming that he's healthy because Tua's not going to end up with the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's just get out, that out of the way. The Cincinnati Bengals are going to grab Joe Burrow with the number one overall pick, the Ohio native. And the fact that he's going to be contaminated by that franchise, uh, just like the citizens, the great sports fans in Cincinnati are contaminated by that franchise, that's really where the problem lies. That's number one. Number two, Tua, I remind everybody, in his two full seasons as a quarterback, the 15 games he played the previous year, the nine games that he played last year, he completed 69% of his passes uh, his first full season as a quarterback after coming in at halftime, after halftime for the national championship game and delivering a national championship over Georgia. I was there. It's one of the greatest moments I've ever experienced in my career. Last time, the Miami Dolphins had an elite quarterback. And Tua, I believe, pretty early on has the chance to be elite. The injury history is real. I mean, that's a, it's, is, he, is he, you know, too injury prone to succeed long term in the NFL? To me, that's a risk you have to take. If there is a special quarterback in the draft and you have been forever a, a franchise really looking for one who has not had real success uh, in a very long time, how do you pass up on that guy? Fortune favors the bold. Now the pick is in. Let's go to the commissioner and see what happens. With the fifth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Tua Tungavaloa, quarterback, Alabama. I'm dodging the potholes Married to the game, ain't covering no thought hole. Fuck around 
around with prescriptions, taking a deadly dose. Everybody know my name, now from coast to coast. Fuck it, I rap about drugs all the time, cause I do one too. Double cup filled with mud, I'm about to abuse you. If I catch my ops with they game, they making the news too. A brown boy like me in the game, ain't what they used to. Tell my time is up, I'ma get a check, write it up, yeah. Took care of the game, they good. I loaded my mama up, yeah. Did everything I could, I'ma do everything I should, yeah. Diamond shine, everybody look, yeah. They ain't never get in took, yeah. D.O. runs for everybody on my team, okay. VVS, ADX, this bitch gon' fuck us right away. Why not get a little street super so we could clean, let it spray? Why not pick my car and cast nigga shit that shit to Cross mode in my phone, I'm dodging a pothole. Married to the game and cuffin' on thigh hole Fuckin' around with prescriptions, taking a deadly dose Everybody know my name, now from coast to coast Fuck it, I rap about drugs all the time, cause I do one too Double cup filled with mud, I'm about to abuse you If I catch my ops with they game, they making the news too A brown boy like me in the game, ain't what they used to Shit lean to my street, why so G's too tight, they don't fit me Got a new girl, she greet, and we get high like Bobby and Whitney Money locked in my safe, cash out every check that they send me Took off my brother's case, I pay all bills that they let me I don't care if they hate, long as they talk about me, it's okay Stop my money so tall, I can't see anyone anyway Treat my cars like Hot Wheels, bring my toys outside to play Play my rappers are cycling flows, I ain't got no time to waste Cross mode in my phone, I'm dodging a pothole Married to the game and cuffin' on thigh hole Fuckin' around with prescriptions, taking a deadly dose Everybody know my name, now from coast to coast Fuck it, I rap about drugs all the time, cause I do one too Double cup filled with mud, I'm about to abuse you If I catch my ops with they game, they makin' the news too A brown boy like me in the game, ain't what they used to